Hello, I'm Dr. Harper. This video is an Excel tutorial in linear programming. So let in this in this video, we will solve two problems. The first is two variables with one constraint, and the second problem will be three variables with four constraints. So let's bring up the problems. Okay, problem number one, two variables with one constraint. On this one, we have uh, the objective function, which is 16x plus 12y, and we have the constraint, one constraint, which is 20x plus 25y is less than or equal to 100. Now, I also include the non-negativity constraints, x is greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0, but in Excel, these are assumed with, with, uh, with an identity. So I'll show you how to, how to uh, include the non-negativity constraints. So let's solve this simple problem. Uh, let's bring up Excel. And so on this one, uh, notice I, uh, I've already uh, have problem one, which is uh, two variables and one constraint. OK. Uh, and notice down here, the solution, we have the variables. Let's go ahead and type these in. We have the mix. And the mix will be the mix of the variables. That's the value of the variables that, we'll be, that we will be solving for. Uh, and then the objective function. Uh, subject to the constraint sets. In this case, we have only one constraint. And so here, if you bring this up, you notice we're going to have uh, the variables are going to be x and y. And then we have a value. And the value is going to be a maximum for the uh, uh, objective function right here. And I'm going to box this in because this will be the value of the objective function at the mix of the variables. So these two cells right here is what Excel is going to solve in order to maximize the value of that cell. Now we have our constraint set here, which is um, constraint 1 here. Well, we have the objective function coefficients is 16 and then 12. And the value of the objective function is going to equal uh, the co let's um, left, left justify this. Let's justify to make sure we can see what's going on. That's going to equal the coefficient times the value of x plus the coefficient times the value of y. OK. So that's what we're going to have for the value of the objective function. But then the constraint set, we have a 20 coefficient and 25 coefficient. The coefficient for x is 20. The coefficient for y is 25. And the value here. Uh, this is the left-hand side of the constraint. It again, is going to equal the coefficient times the value of x plus the coefficient times the value of y. That's the left-hand side. Okay, let's go ahead and center this back. Uh, and then we're going to have directions here. Uh, direction means which direction is the left-hand side relative to the right-hand side. Well, we only have one. We only have less than or equal to. OK. Uh, and then we have the right-hand side. Let's bring this up. You can see it. The right-hand side. And we can see the right-hand side is going to equal 100. So now we have everything we need. And now we go to Excel, uh, go to Solver. So we come to Data. And we come over to the right under the Analyze uh, tab in the area we have Solver. Now I'm going to close this out. If you don't have the Analyze and Solver, then you have to, it doesn't automatically come. You have to upload it. So you have to add it in. Uh, file, it's there, but you have to add it in. Under File, go to Options. Under Options down here, you have Add-ins. Under Add-ins down here, you say Excel Add-ins and say Go. And here you'll have a number of add-ins. I have the an analysis tool pack, analysis tool pack VBA, which we're not doing in this video. But the sovereign, and you click that and click OK. And when you do, then it will 
open analyze and put the solver in there so we have it already so let me open it okay set the objective well the objective function is that cell right there because that's the value of our objective function and we want to maximize it by changing these cells right here left click and drag x and y uh, by adding a constraint and the constraint is this left hand side value is less than or equal to the right hand side value which is that cell there we say OK, and we see the summary, E5, E5 is the uh, objective function value. C4 and colon to D4 means continuous, uh, the cells between those two. Uh, it's going to be the value of our, uh, the mix of our um, variables. And then E7 right here is less than or equal to G7. Now down here is the make unconstrained variables non-negative. You always click that. There's your non-negativity constraints. Now, to select a solving method, everything in this tutorial will be the simplex LP, which is uh, the uh, uh, LP algorithm. Then you solve it, and then it says that, okay, solver found a solution. All constraints and optimality, optimality conditions are satisfied. Keep solver. Say yes, keep it. And there's our solution. If we bring this down, to here, we can see that the solution is x equals 5, y equals 0, 5, 0, with a value of 80. Uh, and, uh, and there's our solution. So that's the first problem. So let's come down to the second problem. Now, the second problem has three variables and four constraints. So let's go to the second sheet. And then here we'll say problem 2 has three variables and four constraints. Okay, and here's the uh, the formulation. And notice on formulation here, I have, well, we can have the non-negativity constraints identified individually, or a shorthand that I like to use is just, let's put all the, uh, all the variables, x, y, and z are decision variables, greater than or equal to zero. And so that right there represents uh, the three non-negativity constraints. It's just shorthand. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and bring this in and uh, let's come down to here and here we have our uh, variables. Let's, let's put these in. Here's our mix. Here's the objective function which uh, we've seen before. Uh, subject to, this time we have one constraint, we have two constraints, three constraints and four constraints. Now we have four constraints. So let's populate this with our uh, formulation up here. Okay, first of all, our variables are going to be x, y, and z. Okay, and we can see down here we're going to have a value, just like we did before. And in this case, it's still max. We want the maximum value of the objective function. And let's go ahead and box this in because that's going to be the value of our objective function. And the mix is the value of our decision variables that Excel is going to change to maximize that. But the objective function coefficients is 38, 32, 34. We'll put these in. 38, 32, and 34. And then the value here, left justify this, the value of the objective function at that mix will equal the coefficient times the oops, times the variable plus the coefficient times the variable plus the coefficient times the variable whoops I, 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 I messed up let's do it again I'm leaving all the mess ups in here so when you mess up you go back and do it right equals the coefficient times the value of the variable plus the coefficient times the value of the variable plus the coefficient times the value of the variable. So, if you go slow, you won't make the mistakes that I just did. <laughs> okay? Uh, and then we have the left-hand side. And the left-hand side, let's left, to left justify this so we can see them. Uh, we need to put in the coefficients. Here we have 12, 19, 14, and 13. 12, 19, 14, and 13. Here we have uh, 10, 18, 13, and 19. 10, 
18, 13, and 19. And here we have 20, 15, 10, and 20. 20, 15, 10, and 20. Okay. And let's go ahead and get the left-hand side here. But in this case, notice what I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to say, let me use a function, sum product. And so what I'm doing, let's go ahead and uh, make this sum product. What I'm doing here is going to sum the products of two arrays. Well, the first array, array is going to be the value of my, of my uh, decision variables. So that's going to be uh, left click and just drag. I know it's C4 through E4, C4 through E4. But then if I, if I uh, uh, click F4, it puts a dollar sign in front of the column in the row, the column C, row, row 4, column E, row 4. Those dollar signs simply means that it's continuous between those. So it's going to be all three of those. But it's going to be fixed. It's not going to change. Comma. And then we have the coefficients. We put the coefficients. And notice it's in red. C7 through E7. So now when we, we uh, uh, return, and when we copy this down, notice what happens. I'm going to copy this. The next one, if I look at this, it's going to be the C4, E4 did not change because it's fixed. And it goes to C8, the red changes. Again, the blue is fixed, the red changes. The blue is fixed, the red changes. And that's a quick and easy way uh, to have all of your constraints on uh, the left-hand side of the constraint calculated with just one function value. Okay? Uh, let's bring this back down. And then we have our, then we have our direction here. Let's, let's enlarge this a little bit. Let's make this bigger. Okay, because we're going to have our direction. Uh, and then we're going to have the right-hand side. Okay. Now, we're going to have well, uh, the different directions now. Now, this time, notice our direction is less than, greater than, less than, equality. And so we have less than, greater than, less than, and then we're going to have equality. Now, notice I just have less than. I don't have less than or equal to, but I probably should say uh, uh, less than or equal to, uh, but I, uh, but I don't. I just say I just say less than. Oops. Okay. Now the right hand side is just two ten. Uh, there's no difference uh, between them, and so this is two ten, two ten, two ten, and two ten. And now we have everything set up, and we go to solver, data, solver. There it is. Now our objective function is going to be that value. Maximize, we want to maximize it, by changing the variable cells as our mix. There's the variable cells we want to change. Now we want to add our constraints. Well, now we have uh, uh, all three different constraints, less than, greater than, equality. So the first one is less than. So we want the left-hand side cell less than or equal to the right-hand side. Then add the next one. The left-hand side, this time it's greater than or equal to so we have greater than or equal to the right-hand side. Add the left-hand side is less than or equal to the right-hand side. Add this time the left-hand side is equal to. So we come down there and say is equal to the right-hand side and say OK. So we click this box for non-negativity constraints, and it is clicked. Uh, the solution we want to use is a simplex algorithm, and there it is. Uh, and then we just say solve, and solver found a solution. All constraints and optimality conditions are satisfied. Keep the solution, yes. And notice what we have here. Uh, sure enough, we do have the solution, which is 14.01.4 with a uh, 579.6 is the value of the objective function. So the point is 14.01.4. So we can see here uh, that the values here are not always integer. Uh, this one's a real number. It's a whole. It's a real number, 1.4, and so it gives you the value, the exact value of the the uh, decision variables and the solution. And the objective function value can be. Uh, it doesn't have to be an integer. It could be anything. 
If you wanted integer, then it would go into a different type of uh, solution than linear programming. Okay, so this is the linear programming Excel tutorial. Uh, I hope this helps. Between now and the next time I see you, I want to urge everyone to take care.